So good morning everybody and once again welcome back in today's class. Today we are on the day number 15. And we are starting a new topic. Which is a little different than the service now core. Alternative view. If I say that. You guys want to order something for your family, for your friends or for yourself. You log into Amazon or Mintra or eBay. Or a lot of e-commerce website. You go there. You find out your product. You select your product. You do your payment and you get. A message. And then finally. It get delivered at your. Address. Good. That's nice. OK. But now. What that particular stuff called? Where you go and log in and do all the things. Right. That is called. Landing page. No, land, not landing page, not landing page. Something I can say. Mm, website. OK. Or the website means you log into that website and then you do your work. Right now, something similar <clears throat> we have in service now as well. Definitely we have in service now as well. Something similar. And that is called. The service portal. Service portal means now I I change my example from layman to the IT world. Let's say Arnab join a new company. Okay, he joined a new company. That's very good. His manager says, Arnab, please go and make a request or raise a request. For a laptop, for a desktop, and for a mobile phone. And I'll be so smart. He log in into Amazon. He order the MacBook. He order one um, extra monitor and mobile phone. His boss said, "No, no, 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 not this one, because now you are in a company. You are in an organization." So this thing you have to be do with the help of the internal portal or we can say service portal. I end up said OK, share me the link. I end up get a link. He opened the link and he make a request. For the. Laptop. Monitor and the mobile phone. He submit that request. It go to his manager. For the approval. Because in the in the internal portals in in for the internal customer, there's a no payment method. Because payment has been done in the background. I'll not discuss that part because that's a completely separate topic that how this billing has been happened and all things. OK, so payment has been happened with the different method. Now. His manager has been approved and after that. His managers, managers need to be approved. It's approved and then he receive an email. That your request has been received. We are working on your request. OK. After two days, he get a email or three days he get an email. Your laptop is ready. Please come and collect that laptop. Arnab go to the IT department and get the laptop. But now this is a one part. For every for every movie, for every picture, there are some backend scenes as well, which nobody knows. Right? So what we do here, 
in the background that Arnav get an email that okay, your laptop is ready. Please collect. What happened in the background? Once this request is fully approved by the manager and managers managers, then that email trigger to the IT department or the stock department to check that is this laptop available in stock. Number one, they check. Yes, this is available. They get one piece and assigned to Arnav name. Stock team work has been done. Now the another task or next step is go to the configuration team. Who pick up that laptop, do the configuration, install the windows, assign to Arnav's name, do the um, inc encryption and all things according to the requirements. OK. Configuration team has been work has been done. Now it go to the. Another security team. Who install the security patches, check the security stuff in the laptop. And finally, at the fifth, fourth step, it go to the delivery team. Who can deliver at home or who can request <coughs> To come and collect. Now these four things has been happened in the background. And the whole process which you see. From submitting the request. Get approval from manager, get approval from managers, managers and these four tasks had been generated. It means nobody sitting in the background who are creating this approval or who are creating this. Particular task. There is some mechanism in the background. And that we call as a. Flow. Automation or workflow. Workflow and flow are not the interchangeable number one. They are. Look similar. But not. They do the same functionality but not 100% and workflow is the older and flow is the new module in service now. So from today for the next three days. Approximately by Tuesday or Wednesday, we will discuss everything on that particular part that how I can create a I can create a request. Is the number one, but before that we'll see how are how this item get published on the portal how this portal has been designed who work on the portal okay then we will work on the workflow and the flow that how i can create my create my own workflow and what i can do so for this let's come back here So to work on the portal or to see on the portal. Open. The link with slash. SP stand for the service portal. This is the portal which is given by service now out of the box. OOTB. So what is this yeah, and green and all the things. So let me take few minutes to give an overview that what this mean? This is a portal. This is not a website, so don't say it's a website. OK, on the top we have a frame banner image portal image. And we have a menu. You want to see the knowledge articles. You want to see the catalogs. You want to see the request submit by you. System status come only for the admin card and tools. If you want to search like we have a global search, something similar we have a search here. But this will not search the request number. It is mainly search for any item for a knowledge article, but not for the numbers. Like if you say REQ 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will not search anything like this. But if you say it will search. OK, so now this is what 
the search. Then to make the user experience more easy. This and this is same request and request something is same. User can click on this particular. This is called the this is called the widgets W I D G E T S widgets. These are the different different widgets. It means these are the different different small boxes which has been placed in the portal. If you stuck, you need some help. Click here. Again, I'm not going in the deep dive because this is again your homework. To navigate this particular portal. Nothing is going to be happen. Don't worry. If you put if you click anywhere, you go anywhere, that's fine. Nothing is going to nothing bad is going to be happen here. OK. So like if I click here. This is all my. Catalogs and categories. Not catalogs categories. What do you mean by the catalog first? Let me understand. What is catalog? What is catalog? Tell me. What is catalog? Guys, tell me. Catalog is a list of items which a user can uh, request for. So it's like in, in Amazon when you open it, in your home page, you have a lot of options, right? Buying options. So you select from that. So that that thing is catalog. Okay. That things are catalog. Are you sure? Because this is what my experience says. If you and me as a consultant will change the terminologies, then definitely our customer will going to be changing the terminologies at their end. Right. Eliza, what do you think? What is catalog? Yeah, catalog is like um, is a place where they can where users can get products or some cer certain services on the service now platform. Okay. Okay. Good. Chalo. Catalog means it's a menu card. Right. Like earlier, these catalogs are only available in the restaurants. Now let's say if Eliza purchased a new house or Arna purchased a new house and then they went to shopping, let's say for the curtains or the painting, they want to be do the painting in their house. They go to some shop and that person says, sir or ma'am, please see this catalog and let me know which color you are be interested I can show you in the computer. So catalog is nothing. It's a menu card. OK, now if you go to the restaurants, what they do? They give you the menu card. And if you go to a very high fi restaurant, they give you two, three menu card. One for the drinks, one for the main course and one for the kids as well. In every catalog, there are categories. How or what? Let's take example. We all go to a restaurant for a dinner. That waiter came and give us the menu card. In menu card, there are sections. Starters, main course, snacks, or I can say Chinese, Italian, Thai, Punjabi, milkshakes, cold drinks, water, salads, sides. These are the categories. Do you order category or do you order item? And of say, boss, bring this shakes. Or you say, bring this or this 
bring this mango shake only. You never say bring the shakes. Because that is the category. From the category, we pick up the item. So under the item. OK. Under the item we have sorry under the category we have a items. The items. Is orderable. Like hi, Atul. Please go, tell me, tell me, Lisa. Um, are you sharing your screen? Are you on your instance? No, no, no. I'm on the just uh, this uh, Skype only. Okay, okay. okay. I just wanted Let's... to confirm. Yeah. Uh... Okay. So item is the one which is orderable, which you order. Like. In the main course, you say I will take a this particular bread. I'll take one Fanta. I'll take one mango shake. I'll take one soup. So this is what the catalogs there. So this is the categories. Under this category, I have these items. And in the service now world, this is called catalog items. Clear? Clear? Yes. Good. If it's clear, then good. So we will see that how this catalog item get created. Number one. Now I'll show you something. OK, that that we'll discuss on the Monday when you go for the request management, not now. OK. So let me come back here. Knowledge base, I want to know that how to install something, how to set the automatic reply. So you can see. This is available like this. These are knowledge articles. OK, so this is also get created. But these articles are not part of our training. This is a part of the ITSM. So you can search any knowledge article. So you can go here or you can go here. Like this. Again, these are the category under this. We have a knowledge articles, not the items. These are not the items. These are the articles. Come back here. And then let's say. After some time. Under become a manager. And now. His junior is raising a request. Which under need to be approved so he can approve from this widget. He can see my approval and there's one more tab get created automatically called the approval. If you want to see any assessment or survey you have to be do, you can check it here. If you want to see any open incident by you. You can see here. Like this. So in short, this is a website. But for us. For us, it is a service portal. OK, and we call it as a service portal. This portal is going to be replaced very soon. When I say replaced means it doesn't mean that is sorry, it doesn't mean that service now is going to be decommissioned. Service now has launched a new portal that is called the ESC Employee Service Center. OK. Employee Service Center. That is a combination of service portal plus 
एच आर पोर्टल अगेन दैट दैट इज लिटल एडवांस सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी डू दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ओके फॉर इवन दो करंट स्टेट एज वेल दिस इज अ नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर हु आर यूजिंग दिस सर्विस पोर्टल ओके नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन we are going back side or sorry i'm saying back side we are going we are doing the back word engineering first we see that how i can order how this workflow work now i'm seeing how this item get created take a step back again atul how this portal get created right right now because customer need portal first after that he will see something else right so this portal as i say given by service now but it this mean we cannot create our own portal we can create our own portal as well so we'll come here and search for the this portal if you want to see that how many portals has been given by service now you can click here these many portals okay service now given this esc let me show you this is what i'm talking this is the portal service now encouraging the customer to use ecs portal it's look like a service portal but it is not a service portal completely so now you can see it tomorrow if we install the hr plugin you can see hr as well if you install some security plugin you can see the security as well but things will be look like same only like computers click here like this macbook completely these are the items only nothing else but definitely few things get change here now okay service now giving this out of the box ecs portal out of the box but the working and the mechanism this ecs is totally different it work on the taxonomy like a collection okay so we will not go for this part we'll understand this service portal this is what we are talking open it atul one question sure. uh, you mentioned that service portal portal is soon to be replaced by esc right esc is going to be not sorry i'll i'll say not replaced mm -hmm. but service now encourage user to use the ecs portal it will be still there it will continue for a long time okay okay fine okay. so so like same thing happened with the workflow and the flow workflow is very old mm -hmm. and service now introduced introduced the flow designer approximately mm -hmm. two or three days back it doesn't mean that they are going to be decommission the workflow they are encouraging the user please start using the flow designer because that is more secure that is more flexible that give more flexible more options to use it in a better manner And more think, automation of the right i think low code yes, right yes yes even workflow also low code but yes flow also a very low code okay okay got the point okay so this is service portal this is service portal configuration now the first point name service portal if you want to change you can change the name but preferably don't change it okay url suffix we mentioned this thing right mm, right it is coming from here so i'll put lng and save and now if you refresh you will not find this page because this suffix has been changed 
will open now. Now, if I change like this, will not work. It is a case sensitive. See, LNG and LNG both are the same. Okay, but it is a case sensitive. And service now using this suffix somewhere in the scripting to load this page. Okay, now this is our home page. Index. This is our home page. From where it is becoming, they have defined a page in the background called the index. There are multiple pages you can see here. No, no, Atul, I don't want this thing. I want something like uh, like this. Okay. Don't worry. Reload. Okay. Sometimes it's like a cache. See. Right? Maybe. This page is not available to select in the. This thing. In this part, so let me change this. I'll show you that how you can configure it. Let's say I want to do the bread cab calendar. And save. Go here. And reload. Why it's not working here? Let me try it. Ah, oh yeah. See, the page is totally changed now. It's loading the cab calendar. So it is you have to be defined that what need to be do. OK, that you have to be defined. So I'll put as an index. OK. Same thing applicable for the this one. If you click on this. This page get load. How this is coming from this part. Now Arnab has a question. Atul, can we change this page as well? Yes, we can change. We can change this page that is called that will come in the service portal configuration. Login page. Then if nothing is fine, 404. Catalog home page. When you click on this. This one. SC home, SC underscore home. Interesting is this one menu. Atul, can we change this menu? Yes, we can. So I can put menu header to employee center menu and theme this red color to some other team. Yes, we can make a change. Let's say HRM theme and say. And now reload this. See, completely change. Only these two and this. This is all a pages, nothing else. These all are the pages. So I take it back to the. Uh, what was this? SP menu header. And this is. Lazola. OK. Now if you scroll down a little bit more. You can see the logo, this which is coming here. And this is something the basic page or configuration has been given here. So I never touch this part. OK, and at last you can see knowledge base. Like if I click on this, let me index again. 
इसको रिलोड करते हैं so only one knowledge base is there and if you see here only one catalog is the service catalog i'll show you when we when we go for the more service catalogs i'll show you that how it can work here okay so this is the first part of the high level understanding of the service portal ठीक है एनी डाउट इन दिस नो आज लॉल गुड गुड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक दैट हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर दिस कम हियर एंड क्लिक ऑन द सर्विस पोर्टल कॉन्फिग्रेशन दीज आर द फाइव सेक्शंस these are the five sections which help you to make your portal to make your portal it includes number 1 is branding what you are able to see here the brand this number 2 is designing अतुल नहीं ऐसे तो क्लियर नहीं हो रहा लेट्स स्टार्ट समथिंग कम हियर विच पर्टिकुलर पोर्टल यू वांट टू ब्रांड इट आई वांट टू ब्रांड द सर्विस पोर्टल दिस ठीक है दिस इज व्हाट एंड नाउ यू विल सरप्राइज टू सी दैट हाउ क्विकली सर्विस नाउ मेक अ चेंजेस दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट Want to change the title? In the image, you can change it here. I'm not changing it. I'm just telling you because this is what you can do at your side. But again, these are the global changes. The person who will save this at the last will override everybody else work so be careful okay now come this i want to change this one can we help you tag line you want to change the color see how quickly it's changing it it giving you the preview now change the color you can change it see scroll down this image nahi atul ye to mazedar nahi hai upload an image put it this where it gone maybe it takes some time to be make a changes okay and then theme colors you will get fed up by doing this theme color and now service now introduce introduce a new concept in the uta version that is called the themes like this is this is seasons happen like i'll give an example maybe elisa it's for a little tough to be to be get this point but sahil and anup can understand during the navratri festival which is coming after 10 20 days 10 50 days approximately every day there is a color theme going on today it's a white it's a yellow it's green 
it's blue kind of things. So this is what service now say that you can create your own themes as well. Like there's a lot of companies who has a particular color in their logos and they want everything should be look like this only. So you can create your own themes as well. OK, and here you can see that if you make a change where it is remove impact. Navigation background color, this one. This. See. So this is this is all about this thing only, nothing else. All the different different colors you can see. I don't want to spend much, much time on this, but this is what you can do easily. Because this is like a playing with the, with the tool. That you can do very easily on that particular part. Atul, can you see the changes in the actual portal? Why not? Come here. See. Changes are there. Maybe this is not impact reflecting immediately. It takes some time. But you can see the changes. This is coming, this is coming, and this is coming. Right? Sorry, this one. This is the first part of the branding. Now come to the designer. Click here. Designer means how this portal will be look like. Like how these boxes are coming. Why this box coming here only? Is there any, any particular format? Yes. And that is called the page designer. This is what we call as a reverse engineering. We start that what we are using. Now we're going back that how this has been created. What is our page name? Index. Search for the index. This. Open it. This page has been built in this structure. See. See. You can see the borders light. This one. Because we have a layouts has been defined here. Can I add a more layouts? Why not? Let do this thing. Put a container. It's gone. Here, I put a container. In this container, I want four boxes. In this four boxes, I want widgets. These things. One is announcements. One is app scanner. One is breakout game. And the last. I can put. Calculator. OK, and now. These changes has been ready. If you want to see the preview, click here. How it will look like on the laptop or the web based? How it will look like in the apps? And how it will look like on the mobile phone? Want to see actual in the portal? Refresh. It's not. Maybe let me do one thing. Now it will come off. I hope. But again, I am repeating my words. These are the global changes, not a personalized.
these are the global changes not the personalized so be careful if by mistake you make a change it will impact everybody okay by mistake done this is what the designer says why is that why is that very yeah. nice because this is the portal has been used by the multiple users right right this has been used by the multiple users same thing if you make a change everybody get impacted that is i'm saying it's a global change let's say if tomorrow you you open your own company okay let's say you open your own company right you have a logo that logo has been used at the multiple places and it is picking up the data from the same source now if you change the source to one logo to some another logo it will impact every place right or let's say in your ssn number in your security social security number you updated your name or maybe you change your name and that number has been linked with the all other documents so in this case all other documents get changed automatically this this thing so it is called as a global change it's it's very important because sometime we don't aware and we make a change it's not a personalized change because it is not your portal which are using only by for yourself it's used by the number of persons users in the company that is when it is called the global change clear eliza yeah right now third section portal i want to know atul how this portal has been built up structure schema this portal has been built up like this this is we learn and grow it has a theme it has a header under theme it has a stock header under menu header we have a, these many pages you want to add something you can add it no problem but this place is only give you the structure that how this has been built up nothing else if you want to make a change in any of the pages you can use the page which we just did now that how a page has been defined let me say sc underscore home this i am talking about this page this so this page which you are able to see here is coming like this my request bundles my recent and other things come here and see container 1 container 2 container so you want to see what is container 1 click here and it will open like this for you you want to make change you can change it but again it is a global change under container 1 i want to see the row 1 okay this is the row 1 they don't give any value because otherwise it will be displayed they want to just show as a boxes like this under row 1 i have a column 1 i have a instance 1 and i have a breadcrumb this and this container complete code here portal required coding it's required javascript it required angular js it required the jelly it's required a lot of things css as well so here 
you can see the complete code. If you want to make a change in this widget, my request is a widget or my bundle is a widget. Let's say my save bundle, where it's gone. My save bundle. Uh, we have to be see like this. It is this, no, it's a search category. Maybe this one is something. My save bundle. We have to find out. And if you notice, it will open in the designer page, designer only this option. Where it is gone. Carousel. Maybe from this only it's coming. This. Categories. If I click on this, this one. These are the categories. It's coming from this particular part. SC underscore category. Complete code has been written. And the last part is called the widgets. These all are the widgets. This knowledge base, get help, request something, my approval. So now I can show you this. My. Are it? Where is my approval? Let's say approval. Approvals. This is what this has been built up. The only thing which I want to be tell you is that never ever make a change in any out of the box widget. It's not recommended. If you want to make a change, clone it and do it. Clone it means make a copy first and then make the changes. Not in the I can say not in the out of the box widget. It will create a problem for you otherwise. OK, so better clone it and how to clone. Clone approval. Let's say LNG approval. I'll put this one. Submit. Okay. Now I can make any changes here. I don't have a coding skills, so I cannot do a much here. But if you know like HTML part, you know, you can make a changes here. If you want to open any other one, you can open any other as well. That's fine. Barcodes. Or let's say breakout. This will break out game. If you want, you can put your client script or server side script. You can do it. That's work for you. You want to see CSS? Add it. You want to see link function? Add it. It means you are you come here. You just click on this. Everything is working fine for you. How it's working? Because there are the widgets in the background. Because these are the coming from this particular code. Now, question come Atul, what is our homework? Let me revise quickly. What you have to be do today? You have two ways to do homework. You can create a portal from here, or if you want, you can create a portal from here as well. Do we have any option for the new portal here? No, it's not giving me the option for the new portal. Mm -hmm. OK, so what you have to be do now? Come here. Create a new portal. LNG. Just save it. Oh. 
is taking only this one. Done, grow. Save. Done. Work. Dekhe, it has been created or not? Nice. Seems some issue. Invalid record has been deleted. Okay. We'll create again. Learn, go. Learn, go. And save. You have to do only this part from this and then come here and search for your portal. And design it. And design it. Make your own logo, make your own image, make your own thing, everything you do by your own. Then go to the designer. If you want to create a new page, click on the add a new page. Page title ITSA. Submit. Page created. Under this page, you want to put container, put it. You want to put only 12 size, put it. You want to put 3 by 9, put it. Under this, if you want to do any widgets, put it. Drag and drop. Nothing to be worried. It's it's your portal. Why are you worrying? If you want to see the preview, click here. How it will be look like. So now we've done a new page as well, new portal as well. Come back. Come to the pages. Which you already done, even though you want to be see. Now our page is ITSM, right? See how it has been built up. It has been built up by this way. You want to create any widget? Come here and create a new widget. Techno function. Submit. Here is this. Copy paste some HTML code and put it here from the internet and put it here. Some CSS code put it just, just for your practice. I'm saying I'm not saying that your portal should be look like this. No, not required. I want you should able to create a portal as you wish. If you're not getting anything, use existing widgets only. Yes, sir. Use these many widgets are there. Just drag and drop and see what is behind me. See categories. Like this. Diagram setup columns, what it's saying. No idea what it is. 93, 60, 60, 60. Oh, okay, 363. Oh, nice. Like this. Like this. Like this. And preview it. That's fine. This is what we have to be do. And with this, the basic configuration, basic understanding of the portal has been completed. Question, doubt, clarification. Clear everybody. Yeah, so one question. Go ahead. So service now provides this out of box service SP, right? And it, it had already has most of the important links that mm. it's required usually. I just wanted to ask you from your experience, what, what are the customizations that you have probably done? I mean, what are the other asks for the customers to where you may have to make any change to the portal? Yes, yes, in, in the portal, let me show you why your um, service now portal examples. See, number one. Mm -hmm. 
number two. Even though image is changed, rest is all same. Mm -hmm. I'll show you some more interesting one. See something similar, but yeah. menu has been completely changed. Right. Right. Because you need to be remember this is the first face, not phase, not P H A. It's a face F A C E for the end customers. So not for the sorry, not for the end customer, for the users. Right. Right. And this is available to even non ITL users, right? The, any user. Yes. Is. Any user can access service portal. Yeah. See now they have completely changed it. Mm. I see very, very, very customized as well. See, even you can put the clock as well. Let me show you this. Is what this is one of the, my favorite uh, widget. Pages. Go in the designer. SM. And now see the preview. See. So there are there are companies who are dedicatedly working only in the portal. Now see this very crisp and clear only three options mm -hmm. because portal is not like a drag and drop portal is like a pure coding this is what we see right mm. it's a pure coding nothing else everything you have to be right it html css and that is another reason that if you want to make a single dot change in the portal, it requires a lot of work. Right. Because you have to make a change in the HTML or maybe CSS, maybe client script, maybe server side script. Got it. <laughs> Any other doubt, question, and clarification required? Yes, guys. I'm, I'm Aliza, Sahil. No doubt. Good. Yeah. So for this work, you have a lot of homework. You have to define SLS, right? Yeah. And you have to be work on this particular part as well. You have to create form modules, all the things SLA and create at least one or two portals. Don't make a change in the out of the box. Otherwise it impact everybody. Better create your own portal and make a changes easily on that particular part. Okay. Okay, let me stop the recording and take quick attendance.